Hi folks, this is your MWIS Winter Planner with our latest extended outlook. Starting off with a look at the freezing level situation. This is the height that we find zero Celsius in metres, gives us that steer then for frozen terrain. And that will be pretty widespread across the highlands on Saturday with the freezing level down below 600 metres pretty widely. That will be dropping across Scotland through into Northern England and Wales to be here between around 600 and 800 metres by the second half of the day. Overnight into Sunday with skies clearing, we'll see a widespread frost forming into the glens in the highlands and into sheltered spots in the valleys across England and Wales as well. So much terrain frozen from lower elevations upwards on a Sunday. That will thaw only in direct sunlight on lower slopes through Sunday daytime. Near to the western coast, that level may just go a bit higher for partly frozen terrain to some mid elevations. And milder air is just starting to push its way back in from the west by late Sunday, soonest across Wales, more extensively overnight into Monday. As a warm front moves through, Atlantic air comes back in and at least across England and Wales, taking temperatures well above freezing up to the high tops. For Scotland, you'll be near to freezing points still across the higher terrain, and that will be the same situation into Monday. So 1,000 to 1,200 metres will be your typical freezing level across the highlands on Monday. That level may just vary a little bit into Tuesday. Some uncertainty on the extent of the next weather system could just draw some colder air around itself. So that may just lower the freezing level, typically back to between 800 and 1000 metres, but locally could go a bit lower for a time. And typically through the middle of the week, we'll be looking at around 1000 metres, I think, as a typical freezing level. It could just uh, fluctuate slightly above and below that level, typically highest over England and Wales, lowest across the highlands. So the high tops in Scotland sticking pretty much near or just below freezing. The high tops in England and Wales more often just a degree or so above freezing point throughout the middle of the week. But that could just vary a little bit from day to day. And this takes us through Thursday and Friday with a similar situation, possibly just nudging some milder air back in from the southwest toward next weekend but much uncertainty with that. Looking at the snow depth situation this is what the model shows first thing on a Saturday morning a dusting at least across the high tops in the highlands and some icy conditions to be found as well. We'll pick up on some accumulations most likely across the high tops in England and Wales eventually through Saturday daytime as a weather system just pivots through here some accumulations more widely perhaps over the North Pennines into Saturday night and further accumulations around northern Scotland, particularly the Cairngorms, as a northerly flow just pulls in clusters of showers with some accumulations even to lower elevations in the northern parts of the Cairngorms here. Onwards into Sunday night and Monday, there will be some further accumulation of snow across the high tops through the highlands as a front comes in briefly even to some middle elevations before lower level temperatures do just tend to lift as we've seen. But across the high tops in the highlands that will stay near to freezing and snow will stay in place and may even get topped up further on Tuesday. This is some uncertainty though by that time in terms of the weather systems at play but just gives us the story that basically across the highlands the higher terrain is likely to stay snow covered and frozen through the middle part of the week. Little if anything to speak of by that time over England and Wales having thawed on Monday but some icy conditions and some occasional slight accumulations may return onto some high tops at times. The weather situation for this weekend is still quite complicated over England and Wales as a small scale area of low pressure pivots its way through that giving most likely more persistent rain and hill snow into the afternoon and the evening hours with some heavier falls locally then just in this part of the world. There's the cluster that also tries to just come down into the northern parts of the highlands too into Saturday night as that system just pulls towards the east. Sunday is essentially a good day for most places, a brief window between weather systems, one or two local showers around some coasts, but many places seeing some good amounts of sunshine, variable cloud banks, and then eventually we go downhill into Sunday night as winds strengthen, a front comes in, and that brings the next batch of rain and some hill snow across the highlands through that time. The milder air sweeping into England and Wales, concerns for flooding again, across Wales in particular as rainfall totals mount up through Monday. Lower amounts of rain across across Scotland with some snow maybe just developing over the highlands as a front pushes back north through the later part of Monday daytime. 
A rather complicated and messy weather situation taking us into midweek with a broad zone of low pressure with perhaps multiple different centres just circulating to the west and the north of us and that will have a rather cool air mass within that so it's a cool showery weather regime that's in charge. Showers that may have some hail, isolated thunder in the mix near to the western coasts and always typically most frequent of precipitation out toward the west, drier further eastwards is the general theme we're expecting into midweek. That area of low pressure looks like it weakens and becomes quite a slack feature so that means the wind will drop lighter most likely into the middle of the week. With further developments over the Atlantic trying to come in but it must be said confidence beyond a few days further forwards at this time is really quite low in terms of any details. Low pressure though is still very much more on the scene perhaps than what was looking likely even a week or so ago when I last looked at the longer range story and that's keeping this first week or so of December on the rather unsettled side but with a shallow low pressure system we will have some local windows of better weather to still be found but it's not particularly settled and it's still looking towards the Atlantic in terms of driving some weather stories in even into the second week of December on this particular chart. High pressure is a way toward the east on this model chart so we're circulating areas of weather systems off the Atlantic and western regions still more prone to spells of wind and rain and some upland snow if the temperatures do just hold on to being chilly enough but I think a relatively mild or near average temperature story taking us into mid-month. High pressure looks like building a bit more around Scandinavia according to this modelling further forward so a quieter story with time and as we head onwards into the festive period that high up toward the north and northeast would be shown here to be more dominant areas of low pressure tracking further southwest so that could just keep us then under a chillier quieter weather regime to take us into that Christmas period a long way off but the early trends then would be on the frosty and foggy side rather than more unsettled by that time. As always, keep up to date with your local details for three days ahead on our website. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.